Hi everyone, it's Erin's Life here and welcome to episode 2 of the Spring Into Action series. I hope you have enjoyed the first episode where it was the introduction, choosing your why, and I hope you really liked the episode 1, the official first episode, where we talked about cleaning your mind. Now today is going to be a, another very, very important topic to the whole entire Spring Into Action series, and that is cleaning your body. Now let me ask you, what things do you do to keep your body clean? Now obviously the obvious answers would be like showering, brushing your teeth, eating healthy foods and stuff, but there's there any unique ways that you clean your body and keep it, you know, nice and healthy and all that. For me, it might not be the most obvious answer, but always getting a good night's rest is really good for my body because I can feel refreshed the next day and I won't feel so sluggish the next day and I'll feel motivated. There's a lot of benefits to sleep. So today we are going to be talking about ways that you can clean your body in a way. It might be a weird topic to talk about, but this is going to be more of practices that you should be incorporating or if you haven't it's a good time to practice them now while we're in quarantine and with the new normal in a way um, just some different ways that you can enhance your you know cleaning up your body and making sure that you're taking good care of it because not only is it good to take care of our minds but it's also good to take care of our bodies because at the end of the day if you take care of your body it's just going to be able to function the way it um, needs to, to in order for you to get the things done that you need to get done throughout the day. For me anyways, right now, I've been making my body a priority because my back is really sore, so I have an icy hot patch on my back as I'm filming this, and it's been a struggle to like bend down and pick up my dog or whatever because my back is so sore. Um, so that's been an adjustment for me personally of trying to make sure I'm taking care of my body and making sure that I do yoga stretches to help it work it out and put on the icy patch, uh, icy hot patch. So th that's just like a small example of what I'm going through. Um, but yeah, let me know your unique ways of how you take care of your body. For me, again, it's getting a good night's sleep. So without further ado, let's get into today's episode and take out our workbooks or journals and get started with the activities. All right, so get your pens out, your coloring materials, whatever you need, and we are going to flip to clean your body. So this is what the cover page looks like. It doesn't look like this. It's gonna be blank for you. So if you'd like to, pause the video now to decorate your um, front cover here. And again, you can send it to my Instagram, at StarSketchArt, if you would like to, for me to see your creations and to like it, share it, comment on it, etc. But this is what I decided to do. So I did like a little kind of self-portrait in a way. I kind of look like Alice from Alice in Wonderland here. Um, and then I just added some doodles. Again, I did these a long time ago, <laughs> these doodles. But there will be new and improved doodles for some of the other sections when I fill those out. And so, yeah, just fill out your cover page because now we're moving on to clean your body. So, your body needs to be taken care of and cleansed to stay healthy. Some things to do are keeping up with good hygiene rituals, skin care, exercising, and meal prepping. So again, these doodles I have included here are not a part of the book. I added them. So again, feel free to doodle wherever you want in the book here. So, um, right here, hygiene basics. Hygiene Basics 101 that everyone should be and uh, continuing to practice in their everyday lives. Brush your teeth twice a day. Have shower and bath routines. Brush slash comb your hair. Wash your hands and apply deodorant. These are definitely my hygiene basics, again, for gender and what you prefer to do will obviously change, but I felt like that this was the most basic hygiene things that you should be doing every single day. And skincare. The benefits of skincare is that you get a softer skin, less acne, and it just overall feels really good. Another benefit that I have found through skincare and doing it in the shower whenever I cleanse my skin and everything is that it's like more of like a mindfulness activity as we talked about in the last episode of skin like with the mindfulness activities that skincare can be a mindfulness activity so keep that in mind if you're looking for a mindfulness activity you can use 
skincare as something to use for that. So here is our next activity here in our workbook. So it says create routines. Create morning and night routines that incorporate skincare. That way your body is refreshed every morning and every night. So my, this is what I wrote at the time. It has obviously um, changed a little bit. But this is kind of the basic rundown of my morning and night routines. So I wake up, instead of wake up at 8 a.m., I don't usually wake up around that time. I usually wake up around like 9, 9.30 now and put the dogs out. I drink my coffee and eat my breakfast if I feel hungry. Sometimes I don't feel hungry in the morning, but I try my best to eat something, whether it's toast or a bagel or something. Get ready for the day, which is where I include my skincare, making sure I take care of it. Take my pill and start work by 9.30. That's like the basics of the basics. So getting ready for the day includes like making my bed and stuff too. And then night routine. I, sh I like to shower at nighttime. So unless I don't do it the night before, I will do it in the morning. But for the most part, I do take a shower at night and brush my teeth at the same time. Say goodnight to my parents after that. Um, well, I do put on my pajamas after a shower, so that should be there. But then I say goodnight, I plan out my next day, if I haven't already in my bullet journal, turn the lights down, and I've been trying to make a habit of putting my oil diffusers on, and I also make sure that I bring my dogs up, especially my dog Henry, he always sleeps in my bedroom, and then sometimes my dog Teddy will sleep in here. So yeah, just make routines, this doesn't just have to be about your skincare either. Um, so if you would like to, please pause the video here so you can fill out this activity or write in your journal what your morning and night routine. Alright, and then we have exercise. So exercise is really important. I need to do this more. <laughs> I do actually need to do this more. I kind of stopped making exercise like a daily thing when quarantine started happening. So this is definitely something on my list for me to work on. So benefits of exercise, de-stress, get yourself moving, it refreshes that cloudy fog from work. What I mean by this is whatever you're working on throughout the day, it kind of helps you to kind of focus better and be able to see everything clearer. Like it's really hard to explain unless you know that feeling. Um, but some ideas of exercising are walking and walking your dogs, yoga, yoga has always been a favorite of mine, especially now with my, my back hurting and stuff. Every single night I try to make an effort to stretch out my back. Um, running, sit-ups, workout apps, I have found that Fit On, I used to use that a lot when I used to like work out a lot uh, before quarantine and stuff and like I think it was like a year ago I used it. Fit On is really good. YouTube has a bunch of cool workouts. I use my YouTube for mostly like yoga stretches if I'm looking for a longer yoga stretch. And then Just Dance actually has an app that you can use on your tablet and phone, which I want to use again. So that's definitely on my list. Once my back feels better is to use that again because I feel like it's so much fun. I used to have a Wii, but um, obviously those are outdated now. So the Just Dance app is definitely a must. If you used to love that game, definitely do that. You've been doing jumping jacks, dancing, swimming, punching a punching bag if you even have that, and of course stretching as I mentioned with the yoga. So what do you like to do to get your body moving? So this is what I personally like to do. So I love doing yoga. Yoga is probably one of my favorite forms of exercise. It's not so much cardio or anything like that, it's, but it's getting my body moving if, even if I haven't gone outside to go for a walk or gone outside to you know, go run or whatever. But if I am in the mood to get my body moving, I love to dance. Even though I'm not the greatest dancer at all, it's just good. It's a good form of exercise, especially with the Just Dance app or looking up dance videos on YouTube. Those are really good as well. And as soon as my back feels better, I do want to get back into that. Swimming. I have a pool and it's great whenever I go in the pool to like swim back and forth in the pool. So that's been really fun to do. Stretching. Uh, this is very important, especially with my back right now, but just overall stretching I like to do if I'm not in the mood to do a whole yoga flow. Uh, going for a walk, I've started to do this, but again with my back it's been kind of difficult, so definitely going to go on more walks. Running. Running used to be like one of my favorite things, but it's like, eh, it depends on the day if I feel really motivated to do it because 
I have a uh, Achilles tendonitis, so it sometimes hurts me <laughs> to do that. But running is actually really good. I used to do it a lot, and it was a good de-stressor. And walking my dogs. I just love walking them and all that. It's just I haven't been able to do it as much because of my back. Um, so, this is where you get to write out your own workout routine, which I really want to stick to this again. I used to do this. When I wrote this down, I literally stuck to it, and I've fallen off of it, and I want to get back into it. So basically, my workout routine at the time was Mondays. Well, every single day, it looks like I always did yoga, meditation, and walking my dogs, which I should be doing now. I need to. I'm telling myself now, and you guys are hearing this, so this is myself keeping myself accountable. But Mondays, yeah, I would. I remember I took a walk around town, especially with my dogs, um, on Mondays. Tuesdays were just dance days. On uh, Wednesdays, again, walking around my town. Thursday, just dance again. And then a solo dance party on Fridays. I love those kind of things. And then to change seasonally indoor workouts, like in the winter and fall and swimming when it's summertime. So that's, that's a pretty good workout routine. I need to start sticking to that more. So if you haven't already, fill out your workout routine in the workbook or in your journal, uh, whatever you like. Write down some things that you like to get your body moving with and then use that to help you incorporate into your workout routine. It doesn't have to be every day like this, Monday through Friday. You can have just Tuesday and Thursday be the days that you work out, whatever floats your boat. So pause here if you wanna fill that out. All right, next part is meal prepping. So benefits, you know ahead of time of what, um, uh, know ahead of time what to eat. It gives you better understanding of what healthier options are out there instead of getting takeout all the time, which has been a bad habit of mine recently. Uh, and it gets you to cook. It gets you to just have fun in the kitchen and cook. I did a lot of cooking when I was uh, by myself for the week that my parents were away, so that was a really nice practice to do. So some good supplies to use this, which once I uh, am able to do this, I am definitely investing in some of these items like glass containers with lids, helps decrease the plastic production. I'm a huge advocate of that. I, I've been wanting to incorporate that in my household, but it's been very difficult. So um, I definitely will do this once I'm on my own. And then all ingredients for recipes to make and good cooking music definitely a must. Um, so the question is here, what are your favorite meals? Do you think you could cook them? Write a list of recipes to reference on your Pinterest account. Make an account, it's free, and Pinterest is awesome. Pinterest is awesome. And I guess I wrote out just like a bunch of, um, not routines, recipes that I found. Uh, so there's like bow ties and broccoli, Mexican rice, Alfredo lasagna rolls. Oh, that sounds good cheesy loaded tater tots and Chinese spring rolls. Oh, that one sounds really good actually. So I just wrote out some ideas. So feel free in your own time or you can pause the video now to work on this, but make a Pinterest account. It's really good to like keep your recipes, have like mood boards to like look back on and I don't know, it's really good with our recipes too. You can also look up vegan recipes, vegetarian recipes, gluten free recipes, whatever floats your boat. So you can pause here or do this later of writing out your uh, recipes for your favorite meals. And that's it for Clean Your Body. So I hope you guys enjoyed the second episode in the series, well technically the third if you count the intro. Um, basically today's top three things were exercise, skin care, making routines, and meal prepping. I feel like those four things are definitely crucial when it comes to cleaning your body to incorporate, you know, the times when you shower and the times when you um, eat healthy foods and the times that you exercise. So my challenge for you, which I am also going to do over the next couple of days because my back is getting better, is to one, create that workout routine if you haven't already and B, try to stick to it the rest of this week. I'm going to do this as well. This will be my challenge. Maybe I'll even vlog it of me doing it. That should be interesting. Um, but that is your challenge for this week. And let me know how that goes in the comment section down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. 
and make sure if you haven't already go purchase my workbook link will be in the description and I'm also having a huge Facebook shop sale on my artist Facebook shop I thought I would shout it out here as well and it's only 10 to 20 dollars each of the artworks that you see around my room are only 10 to 20 dollars so make sure you check out my shop link will be in the description i'm trying to get the word out to completely clean out my inventory to invite new um art well, artworks i guess um into my inventory so that i can continue to have sales so please 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 go check that out if you haven't already and without further ado before i blab you guys all out any longer I will see you guys in the next Spring Into Action series video on Tuesday, which is actually my birthday, so that'll be super exciting. Bye guys!